Hey Nomies, it's me Nisha. Hey Warriors, um, I'm coming to you with a sick of soul vlog. It is Wednesday, January 27th at 1.30. I just got back from my doctor's appointment. You guys already know I did a video about like the little fender bender that I had and then me going to the ER, I found out I had strep throat and everything. So I ended up going back to the doctor because I was still having um, some pain. When I went to the ER, the doctor gave me Percocet because my Norco wasn't really working. So he, uh, it was working, but it wasn't working that good. So he gave me Norco. I mean, he gave me Percocet. And I didn't want to take Dilaudid at home, even though I have that. Um, because I feel like if I have to take something that strong, then I probably need to be admitted. And the ER doctor was willing to admit me, but I just didn't want to be admitted like... Who wants to be admitted I want to see if it will go down at home but it didn't I'm still having pain that's why I went to the doctor today um, so she checked my blood and everything and uh, my port of course was acting retarded like it always always does and so they end up having to stick me and my hemoglobin was actually pretty good but my white count was 10 point something which is not extremely high but it's starting to climb up there and that's normally how it starts with me. It starts to climb up there and then my hemoglobin will drop a little bit and then my chest has started to hurt to where when I take a little deep breath it hurts a little bit it doesn't hurt really bad like it does when I have pneumonia but it's like I'm having some sickle cell pain and I'm praying that it doesn't turn into pneumonia um and she checked my x-ray from when I was in the ER she said that was good and I just told her like I'm still not feeling good I'm still having pain I've been taking the Percocet but I'm still having a lot of pain with that and she knows me and she can look at me and tell like sometimes I just don't look like I'm in pain but like right now like I don't know if you guys can tell but I just look drained and wiped out like my spirits are still the same like I say I make sure my spirits are high I'm still happy I'm still thankful like even if I have to go to the, into the hospital I'm happy that Friday will make 15 weeks that I stay out of the hospital yeah that's a week short of four months but I am thankful for that because I was going to the hospital every other month so I am extremely thankful and extremely happy um but obviously I'm in pain and I would prefer not to be in pain so she said that I felt a little warm we were she was about to check my temperature but then like it was a whole bunch of chaos with like my port acting stupid and her um them trying to get my blood so I we just the nurses forgot and by then she had started talking to me and asking me um if if I she always asks me um if it gets really bad she'll say you know Tanisha I'm, I know you don't want this but we need to we need to admit you but it didn't come to that she was like you do you want to go to the hospital do you think we should go to do the hospital and I was like I don't want to but how I feel I know that I need to and then she's like, well, I can call call you in the bed. And I said, well, tomorrow we're taking the kids to Disney on Ice. And I really don't want to miss it. And they don't want me to miss it. We go every year. And I really want to do this with the family. So, sorry, guys. Um, So, if we could um, wait it out. And I know how my body feels right now that it's, sorry. I know how my body feels right now that it's not going to get better right now because I know once the pain gets to a certain point, like my body is in a crisis and needs those constant fluids and pain medicines and sometimes the oxygen. And um, I just like, let's wait it out to Friday. If Friday morning I feel the same, well, Thursday night, if I feel the same, then I already know I'm just going to call her and... Friday morning, she's going to do a direct admit, which is basically where she calls the hospital and tells them that she's admitting me and I'll just go to the hospital and be admitted that way and don't have to go through the ER and waiting for a bed and blah, 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 all that good stuff. So, yeah, she's going to do that. And I prefer, I, I really pray that it does get better, but if it, how I feel, I foresee me having to go Friday and like I keep saying, I am totally fine with that. I'm happy. My spirits are still lifted. Like, I'm so happy that I made it to 15 weeks. Like, 
I'm not mad at all. Like, I'm super happy. Like, because I was going into the hospital, like I said before, every other month. So, making it to 15 weeks, even though that's just one week shy of four months, I don't care. That's a long time. I'm happy. Thank you, Jesus, for letting me make it this far. So, right now, I'm about to get back in my pajamas. Um, and lay down as to the kids get home from school which will be soon because today is their early day i just my grandfather he went to the to the doctor with me because arthur had to work and i didn't want him to call off um if it's not super super serious i prefer him not to call off um so he i didn't want him to call off and um my grandfather went with me and then we stopped at the grocery store and i got some stuff for the kids because i'm gonna um, I, you guys know I did videos before uh, talking about me pre-making breakfast. I'm going to pre-make breakfast and lunch and dinner. I'm going to pre-make some breakfast for them. So if I do go into the hospital next week, they have breakfast because me and my husband like to prepare and we like to stay prepared for it. Like I know you can't prepare when you're going to get sick, but I feel it. So I'm going to go ahead. And normally when I'm in, the, if I get in a full blown crisis, I'll be in the hospital a week. So I'm going to make breakfast for a week we already have enough dinner made for a week so I'm gonna make that for them so that they're prepared I want to get them some snacks and stuff like that I forgot they're at granola bar so I'm gonna have to go back to the store to get those but like I'm just gonna prepare and gonna enjoy the time with my family at home tonight and tomorrow um I just wanted to say thank you and hey to all my friends out there and I'm not just talking about the friends that are close, like the friends that I go to the nail shop with and the friends that I do things with, like go out with. I'm talking about like my friends in New Jersey, my friends in Texas, my friends in North Carolina, my friends in Florida, all of you. Like I talk to some of you more than I talk to family members. Like you guys are so supportive and so great. And I really, really appreciate all of you. Um, and tomorrow... Um, well, not tomorrow, Friday, if I do get, uh, have to go in, I think I'm going to have my granddad take me in because again, I don't want Arthur to call off unless it's really, really bad and it's not there yet. So he, he's only working a few hours Friday. So I told him to go ahead and work those few, I think he's only working like four hours. I told him to go ahead and work those few hours and then he can come up to the hospital after that. My friend Nakia, hey, she was going to um, take me, but she has a, a field trip. So that's really the only friend that I have that will has will actually come and sit at the hospital with me and or take me to the appointments. So like I really, really, I mean, other people have offered, but she's the only person that literally has set up set up there with me and people don't some people with sickle cell like oh i don't need you to sit. i don't want to be bothered da, 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 da. i'm not like that i do want to be bothered i do like when people come and see me i do like when people check on me um because i'm not one of those people that i'm when i'm in a crisis that i just can't function only time i was like that is basically when i lost conscience consciousness and was in the ICU and prayerfully I never have to experience that again but even when I was in there people still came to see me like I was in and out like opening my eyes and seeing people were there so but yeah I just wanted to say thank you to all my nomies everywhere if it's some some people somewhere oh and my no I got nomies in Canada like everywhere like and I just made 1200 subscribers so I got 1,200 friends, 1,200 homies, Nisha's homies. I can't believe that I made 1,200. Like some people, that's like, that ain't a lot, but it's a lot to me. Like, I feel like I got 1,200 friends, y'all. Like 1,200 people like me and we friends and I can sit here and chit chat with y'all. Like, yes, as you can see, I'm still my bubbly self. I'm in pain, but that doesn't take away from the fact that I'm still happy I'm still thankful for my husband and my kids my granddad for my friends like I'm thankful for those people who even not my friends because you taught me something too I'm thankful for the good and the bad as I always say but like I said kids will be home in about 30 minutes so I'm just gonna sit here 
and relax until they get here and then the kids have been leah wants to be a chef when she grows up so she's been trying and plus i want my kids to know how to take care of themselves um they've been learning different meals how to cook different meals they want to learn how to make meatloaf so we're going to make turkey meatloaf tonight and i'm going to show them how to do it and they're going to love it because they get to get all squishy and get their hands in there and i'm going to be happy because i don't have to dig in that nasty meat so and then that'll last us dinner for two nights but tomorrow since we're going to disney on ice and i'm pretty sure we'll eat out like pizza or something there that i don't that this will last them so they won't eat this tomorrow so it'll be for dinner tonight and probably saturday but again i just want to say hey to everybody give you an update if i do end up getting admitted i will give you guys an update and let you know um if i don't do a video it'll be posted on my facebook or my instagram or my snapchat or something like that but what is that on my face i hope that was not on my face the whole time if it was y'all sorry it's life but that's it guys um i miss you guys um like i didn't just talk to y'all a few days ago and i'm so happy that you guys are my nomies and i hope that you guys are doing well and i can't remember if i said my chest has started hurting but yeah my chest has started hurting like just a little bit when i breathe not horrible it doesn't feel like pneumonia, but it it feels like sickle cell pain. But I always end up getting pneumonia. Um, and I pray that I don't get that. But a lot of times my sickle cells will get caught in my lungs. And I end up getting pneumonia that way. But yeah, that's it guys. I've been running my mouth too long. Um, I will see you in the next vlog. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, share it. And find me on social media under Nisha's life. Bye, guys.